Hey guys, I'm back with part two, and um, I'm just going straight to the Star Destroyer. My, what I think it is my biggest set I ever got, actually. Um, as you can see, right here. I can't even fit on the tripod. Okay, so let's start to, from the back to the front. Back to the front, back to the front. So, um, so if we get to the back of the Star Destroyer, to the back. Actually, let me just show you freehand. Get to the back. There's this plug right here. If you pull it up, um, lift it up from that. And um, as you can see, this mechanism really cool. If you push that up, um, or does that blue um the Technic piece to pull back? And that Technic piece is under that Borok Bionicle piece right there. You can see up there. And then I want to show you. I want to show you something. Let's get this off the table. Um, let's show, I want to show you this part. Um... So you can see it's the top of the Star Destroyer. Um, if I bring it close up, there's this red thing that you can see. You pull it down, it pulls this perfect sliding back part down. Um, so, and if you can see in there, there's a lot of controls. One, one, two. Right there, and there's um, two stickers on the side. Hope you can see that one in there. And if you put, if you want to put Graham of Tarkin and the Imperial Officer in there, you could. Um, I'll um, put. I hope I could put pictures on it, but I don't think I could. So um, here he is. Um, here's the top. He sting. Oh well, so, and then there's like levels here. First level is here, second level there, third level there. And then here's this red thing again. I think these are different colors so you can see it. So you like push it and flick it in. There's these light, green lightsabers that will fly out really far though. Um, but I don't have them and it would be too risky if I f fire it. So I only want to try even if I had it. And I want to show you how this part is built. How this is built. <coughs> Pop this off. And open this up. So it's built like this. You can get plugged into the side. Oh, hold up, guys. i got to build this again. Put it back. All right. Ah, <sighs> right there. Okay, and then here you have those bridge deflector shields, and the bridge in there. It's pretty cool because if you, you in in the movie, when they're walking in, there's like those triangle windows. So I think that's what it was representing. And there's another sticker down here. Right in there. In there. So there's a pretty, pretty lot of Stickers in this set to the Emperor part. If we get this guy again. Um, I guess I'll get get this whole thing on camera now. So um, if we get this big guy, get the get the um, camera off the tripod. Get my iPhone off the tripod. <clears throat> my iPhone four. You see these two guns. And you can see that thing I was talking to you about where it um, plugs in. And just like um, everything in the middle where you can even grab it from there. Grab it from there. And if and you can open this part. 
and we can open it up now. So, it just opens up with these things. Most big Lego stuff have that. And I just want to go to this mechanism right here. So, if you pull the, push this, it would fly out. The escape pod. And I think I could show you. Wait, let me go try this. Okay, um, three, two, one. Did, I hope you guys saw that. And I'm gonna go review it again when I'm done. When I, before I upload it to YouTube. And, um, um, underneath, um, it just is things that, um, there's like a hole, and then it goes over that. And here's the, um, a good place where you put his lightsaber, aka Darth Vader. We get everybody back. Oh, I usually put this mouse droid over, usually put the mouse droid right here and plug him in, because I don't like him. Just plug him in right there. You can get the R2 unit. Plug him in right there. Get the Royal Guard. Plug him in right over here. And get um, the other Royal Guard. And plug him on the other side. So this is just the ba basically the back room. Pretty cool. The hangar. If we come in here, it's the um, Darth Vader room. Really cool. Let me go sit down. As you can see, um, really cool. All that fighting space you could get. If we get these mini figures back, this is where you put Chancellor. The Chancellor. It's hard to do everything with one hand again. Here's a big set, so this is what I get, guys. I gotta stop reviewing these big sets. There you go. Ping him in there. He just hangs there. And you go put Darth Vader on this little table. Just like that. Talking to Chancellor. Right there. You can get these stormtroopers. I can stand them right there. Right, I'm right there. So everyone's standing up now. And here's one of the cool mechanisms. This is the storage room also. And our Vader's room. So if you push these. If you push this thing. There's um, these rocket launchers. Right there. And those blue things are to hold this. These thrusters. And if we get this whole guy around. You could get this part. Where you bring. Where you could put Darth Vader's helmet, and you could like grab it with this crane, and you could grab it and put it on him in that chair. You can share, see that chair? It's a white chair in there. And you could open these things, but I don't like to. So that's all of it inside. Watch other reviews if I forgot anything, and let's close it up. Hold up, guys. If you get to the back, you see these really giant thrusters with those turbo tank wheels and those dis dishes inside. And you can see these bowls that look like rice bowls. Um, and with more dishes inside, they actually move in there. Uh, um, I hope this, so I think this is all of the detail. I think I got everything except for these guns in here. And this side too. So this is Super Bowl 2A3. <clears throat> got Banana Ass 2A3. I'll be back with more Lego. A Halo. More Lego and Transformers reviews. Soon. Okay guys, see ya.